So we'll start by removing and refitting the ancillary drive mount. So here's some photos to show what we're doing. We've got the dynamic tensioner, the alternator, the air conditioning compressor, the ancillary drive mount, crankshaft pulley, the coolant pump drive friction wheel and the water pump pulley itself. So it's a 21mm spanner to take the tension off the belt. Now that was quite stiff for me so you may want an extension on a spanner because obviously the access may be quite tight. I'll leave a link to that extension tool in the description. But since the engine's out I'm going to resort to a 21mm socket on a breaker bar. It's just a bit easier. So what we do is we take the tension off the tensioner and then there's a little locking pin there that we just push in and we can lock that to keep it out of the way. Now before you can remove the belts you've also got to remove this friction wheel that transfers power from the crank to the coolant pump pulley. So you just pull the little tag there, lock it off and then that friction wheel is free. So now you can just take the belt off and then if you were refitting you'd refit on the crankshaft first, the alternator and then the AC pump. And then just take the tension back off or release the tension should I say. Obviously you've got to definitely make sure you do that otherwise the engine wouldn't get any cooling which is quite important on these engines. And then put the tension back on again just pull the locking pin back out and there we go. But anyway so let's get on and remove the coolant pump drive friction wheel tensioner and for that it's a 10 millimeter socket for those three screws. Now they're all the same length. Let's just pop those out. Now these can often fail so it's worth checking yours is in good condition. This one's made by Deco but it is an important part to maintain cooling of this engine. There we are. Pop that out to one side and then we get on to removing the ancillary belt tensioner. So for that it's an E10 female Torx. It's sort of combined with the alternator there. So there's like three bolts or screws for the alternator. These top two also hold this tensioner in position. So we'll pop those two out. They're both the same length, always worth checking. And there's a little dowel, metal dowel there as well. And then we can just pull that free. So like I say, that one's actually seized on mine, so in real life that would have to be replaced. Okay, so now to remove the air conditioning compressor. So for that, we need to just undo two electrical connectors, like so. Be careful, because some of these plastic clips can break. But they do get fragile with the heat from the engine. And then we need to use a 13 millimeter socket for these three screws. Now I actually had the bottom one was seized and I could feel it going soft as I started to undo it. Here we go. Yeah, you can tell when it's just the head's turning but the thread's not. So I'll come back to that one. It's always worth taking your time if a bolt or screw is seized in otherwise you risk snapping it. So I tried a bit of plus gas that didn't seem to really help much so what I did then was to resort to shocking it with a hammer and I did a few sessions of shocking it with a hammer to get it to undo. Because there we, it was still starting to twist there with just the plus gas but shocking does work. There we go, it's gradually coming out there. I actually thought the ratchet was skipping at that point, but it wasn't. It was actually undoing. But there we go. We've got that out. And we can now lift away the air conditioning compressor. Which looks like that. Okay. So now to remove the alternator. So 13mm socket again. 
call the positive output from the alternator a little nut there it's probably worth just popping that back on so you don't lose it and there's also a signal wire there that needs to come off um, now my tool was a little bit too wide and I think I was a bit too aggressive there and broke that plastic clip which was a bit disappointing so you may want to be a little bit more careful than I was there we go but the plastic does get fragile with the hot and cold cycles of the engine so we took the two top threads out earlier with the tensioner so we've just got the last one again it's an E10 female Torx and it's the same length as the other two and then we should just lift the alternator away it's quite a compact alternator that and that's what it looks like I'll put photographs at the end as I always do of detailed um, images of the items now we can just remove the AC pump bracket so again that's a 13 millimeter socket and we've got two studs at the top and two nuts at the bottom I say studs I meant screws so we get the two nuts out I'm just putting them there so the camera can actually see and also I can drop them on the floor there so yeah I'm just trying to show that the threads are the same length and there we are that's the bracket removed okay then so here's some talk and other information which you can pause and also some reference photographs which again you can pause to view for longer So you've been watching how to remove the ancillary drive belt, air conditioning pump and alternator on this Peugeot 207. So thank you for watching and supporting my channel and please like and subscribe. And this video is filmed and edited by me, Mark Savage, in October 2023. And I can also be found on Instagram, Facebook and X as Coats and Gators.